Today is Friday, July 15, 2016. We are at the major Archbishop's house at Ernakulam, Kerala, India. This is a very special day because we are blessed to have a chance to converse with His Beatitude, George Cardinal Alan Cherry, Major Archbishop and Head of the Sri Ramalabar Church. Thank you so much. Your Eminence, your ordination was in 1972. That's right. Priestly ordination. Mm -hmm. Which means your major seminary formation happened after the Sira Malabar liturgy was translated from Syriac to Malayalam. That's also right. What is the secret of your... You have a soft corner for the Syriac language. How come? For many reasons, first reason is that we are an Eastern Oriental Church of the Syrian tradition. And this Syrian tradition is all through in our liturgy, in our prayer life, and also in our traditional piety. There are celebrations in which even now, a little of Syriac is used. And in some places, the use of the Syriac language is becoming more and more acknowledged by the people and the priests. In my parish church in St. George, Dapalli, for the procession at the end, they sing in Syriac. Okay. And they are very particular to keep it up. That is one of the reasons, because of our Eastern Syrian tradition. Secondly, when I was uh, studying in the college and in the seminary, we had the use of uh, Syriac in liturgical language. We had a Syriac masses celebrated during my minor seminary days and so on. Only in 1962, when I was in the second year of my minor seminary, there came uh, the Holy Mass, half Syriac, half Malayal. Okay. So we were using it. And still there were rasas celebrated in Syriac. So we, we were trained to sing the Syriac songs uh, to some extent. And for my BA examination, my second language was Syriac. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I have appetite for the Syriac language. But unfortunately, I cannot fully dedicate myself to this uh, celebration of the Mass in uh, Syriac and so on. Recently, there was a Rasa celebrated for St. Thomas Day. And then uh, I sang Kanti Salaha. So the words of institution and also the epiclesis in Syria okay. uh, during their celebration in Malayalam. So my desire is that this tradition is to be kept up. Beautiful. Is there a particular Syria chant from your childhood that is still being cherished? A few of them are being cherished. For example, Skandi Sahalaha, Lagumara. They are very good hymns. Yes. And then there is a song which is sung for Rasa while venerating the Holy Bible. Dhavraksava Sivale, Dhavraksava Sivale, Sivaram Vadasase, Maklamishiha Parokan. That, that, that is still yes. in my mind. Oh, very good. Then, of course, these uh, words of institution. Yes. Then there is a song called Kadukai. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I don't remember the whole text. Also, for the office of the dead, Kambel yes. Mara. Yes. All these have to be revived in my 
my opinion, which will give. For example, Pushba Slama Pudavangan yes. in the same tune. Yeah. So, if Teta Pushleg Baslama Pudavangan, that is Pudavangan. That is Pudavangan. And really, people will enjoy it. My suggestion is that we begin uh, that song in one stanza in, in Syriac great. and then go to Malayalam great. and maybe some verses again when the priest won in uh, yes. Syriac or something like that. That will become very greatly uh, melodious and for the inspiration of the people. Wonderful idea. I hope our priests will listen to this. Our priests will uh, listen to if we are given uh, uh, officially by the Synod and so on. For example, now the Bishop of Pali, Bishop Joseph yes. Kalaringat. Yes. He celebrates the Syriac Mass wonderfully well. Yes. He's not acknowledged as a musician like you, but still <laughs> he has that taste and he sings well. We did an interview. Good, yes, very and good. we are getting a lot of hits for oh, that interview. Very good. You had a very long interview. He was very kind enough oh, to. Okay. He is one of the persons who can lead our renewal in this line. Oh. And I think this kind of blending uh, the Syriac hymns together with the other liturgical hymns in Malayalam or English or anything like that. The same text, first in Syriac and then in Malayalam. Oh. That's a great uh, idea. Uh, uh. Nobody has ever thought about it. So you may kindly propose a certain text like that. Then we will uh, uh, propagate. We yes. will uh, popularize it among the people and the priests. And if it is done in some places, others will imitate some things yes. like that. We need not officially say hereafter yes. it is like that. but. Yeah. We slowly do it. Yeah. As we did it in Washington, D.C. Okay. with Kandi Shalaha. <laughs> that is right. And you remember and sang the that second right. part. Could you please uh -huh. sing? Kandi Shalaha Kandi Shalaha Hail Sana Kandi Shalama Yosa Beautiful, beautiful. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. You know, your eminence answered my second question in what advance. Is, what is that? The second question is this. The official church of which your eminence is the head says Siro Malabar. That's right. And the Siro stands for the Syriac language. But the present generation is far removed from the Syriac heritage and the Syriac uh, experience. So, what's your eminence's opinion about that anomaly in history that we have the name Siro Malabar yet the experience isn't there. Mm -hmm. And the next generation will have much lesser than what this generation has. Mm -hmm. Your Eminence mentioned this, the song at Edapalli, but their children, the next generation, may not sing at all. Mm -hmm. So, how do we account for... You see, this predicament is there also in the Latin Church. And in the Latin Church, uh, there is no Latin liturgy celebrated by all. But there are monasteries, there are also some priests here and there who celebrate uh, the Latin Mass as such. Other liturgical celebrations completely in Latin are also not there. But there are also certain hymns kept up in Latin. In certain ordinary Masses also, one or two, for example, Agnus Dei, yes. 
they sing in Latin. Yes. Especially in uh, St. Peter's Basilica. Yeah. That should be, uh, or that may be the principle which we can also follow. So, we suggest certain hymns now and then for all celebrations. And we do encourage people in monasteries or in certain special houses, a uh, complete celebration of Sariyak. And let there be that kind of introduction of a mixed uh, liturgical heritage. Even though we have gone to the vernacular, the Suryak tunes are there in our prayers and in our hymns. So, we cannot completely call back the uh, liturgical language as the Suryak. It is impossible. And uh, it is not, uh, not even needed, but yeah. people will not understand. But this kind of experiencing the spirituality in the Suryak tradition, I think this kind of partial introduction of certain hymns and so on will be good. I was wondering, why don't we focus on the Syriac heritage, at least for as one chapter in our catechetical books for the high school children in our Sina Malabar Church? Yeah, that's a good idea. Although we do not introduce we introduce this culture to the uh, students. That is good, but uh, it may not bring the desired result as a whole. Mm. Because they will learn it. Of course, we had a, um, a tradition which was uh, for long, for centuries yeah. in Syriac language, our worship, especially our Koli Kurbana yeah. and other uh, liturgical hymns and so on. But uh, something is better than nothing. It is a good idea. We can do it, I think. Yes, yes. Now, we continue to print the Missal, the institution narrative in Syriac, yeah. in the current Missal in Malayalam. Why are we doing it? Because the priests don't get training, seminarians don't get training in Syriac. It is mm. just... Uh, yeah. You see, when our uh, liturgy was uh, restored and renovated, you know there was so many <laughs> differences yes. of opinion. Yes. And there were compromises made. And there were Syriac lovers among our bishops. They insisted that at least there should be something. And they saw this as uh, an important uh, element. In my opinion, in the Oriental tradition, the words of an institution as such is not only the important moment. Yes. As you know, the yes. whole anaphora yes. is consecratory. Yes. yes, yes. But still they insisted and we put it and some priests sometimes celebrate it. I also was doing it now and then. But after coming here, because there is a culture not so much as re oriented here, uh, I don't do it here. But for special occasions, I do. There is a priest in this diocese, uh, Father George Koi Parambil. Yeah. And we had an interview with him. He's so passionate. Nice. He's waiting for, for yeah. permission uh, yeah. to celebrate the Mass in Syriac. And on occasions he celebrates, he uses the institution narrative in Syriac. Duharani Dashi Dorak Ahadalaplan Bledianin, how the Mestle. And he sang beautifully well. So, if your eminence proposes that idea that priests have the freedom to do that, mm -hmm. but I hope more priests will be encouraged by watching this. Um, I am being the head of the Synod. It is better that I don't propose that idea. <laughs> okay. It may be good that you, through some other bishops, uh, propose it. Yeah. And then there will be a discussion and the Synod may decide for that. I would like to do things uh, with a consensus. Yeah. That yes. will lead to the unity of our church. Yes. But uh, it is a good idea. Why not certain priests can celebrate it? But the people may resent sometimes because we do not understand anything at all and so on. Uh, when uh, the whole Mass was sung in Syriac by Bishop Coloring Art. Even in the Synod, some were saying that, no, it's okay, it's a good thing, but uh, all cannot follow, so it mm -hmm. is better not to uh, encourage it very much. That, that, that opinion also was there, I would like to tell you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So, we have to initiate things with a great prudence and also with the consent of all the yeah. people concerned. One of the things that we are trying through this Aramaic project is to slowly introduce 
the Syriac experience through chance. Mm -hmm. That's what we tried at uh, uh, Washington DC uh -huh. when your eminence mm -hmm. came to celebrate mass. We have a clipping mm -hmm. of your eminent singing Pugdanagod. Oh, and see. at the end, there was a very subdued smile like this on your eminence's face. What was going through that mind when you saw 3,000 people in the basilica and your eminence sang in Syriac for the first time in that great place? See, that gave me a great joy eh, because I could do it in Washington and uh, before uh, our own people there and to uh, show that this tradition is there in our church. Secondly, I was uh, also a little joyful because I could do it uh, and uh, rather successfully because I am not a musician, not a good well. son. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I could do it as such. If, uh, if at all there was a smile, it was because of the joy in me. <laughs> <laughs> and our children, the, there were 130 youngsters behind you yeah. singing. And they enjoyed and they sang the reply so well. Mm -hmm. and it was that is because you trained the choir very well there. It was very well appreciated. And that mass was a great event there in Washington, D.C. Yes, yes. And uh, very often that Father George Marathi Parmel used to tell me yeah. about that celebration and uh, the wonderful experience we had there yes, and so on. Yes. He's a man of Washington, D.C. because he worked long yeah, there. Yeah. So yeah. I think you are dedication for the Syriac heritage and also for the promotion of it in our present times is a contribution to the church, Surah Malabar Church, all over the world. And I really encourage you or I, I am with you and I shall try to bring the whole church and the synod as a whole uh, rally around you and then promote this. Uh, oh, heritage. what a great blessing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Let us go back to your Eminence's former uh, diocese in Takala. That's right. I am going to sing a chant, a surprise. Marayor Pave Nirai Pungave Nirai Karpala Aungari Manor Kani Vinnoreni Nannu Kana Amalol Bhavaye This came as a big surprise at Kurupandara. Yeah. I went to record some old church musicians there. And there is one Chako Koitaratil there. So at the end of the recording session I asked Chako children, and he came out with this song. Marayor Pave Nirai Bungave. Surprisingly, the, the text is in Tamil, but the melody is Varamariyam. That melody, Syriac melody, Tamil text. Oh, I see. 
that was there was a time in which even in kerala we were singing in tamil exactly probably this goes back to the 10th century pre 10th century before malayalam became this could be the oldest available christian chant in india they tell them to keep it up there i think not only he after his time everybody may forget yeah they will he, even they don't sing it there because he he thought he was shy to tell us sing the song because it was in tamil he thought i wouldn't be interested but but it's a treasure we got a treasure, yeah. this is like a music archaeology the question i wanted to ask your eminence is at the takala are there tamil speaking christians who still preserve the sri tradition no there cannot be because you see uh, the christian presence there before that arrival of the portuguese was dispersed because of the muslim invasion oh they got dispersed and that is why one of the ancient churches of st thomas tradition also was forgotten there and it was recovered by the orthodox church and oh. that is the church called uh, st thomas church of tiruvidam kod and now it is under the possession of the orthodox church of kotayam and there there were no christians left there but because of the cross engraven on the wall of the uh, church we could understand that it was a church of the st thomas tradition oh. and they got it now the suramalwar catholics there are either those who went over there as uh, uh, immigrants or uh, as um, for war or for estate holding and so on and the people of the place who embraced uh, the christian faith because of the missionary work of the uh, priests sisters and so on from changanashri archdiocese from 1958 onwards oh only that Ah. so we do not have any seriac text uh, preserved there i made a few tail attempts there uh, to find out like that no nothing is there was there a migration of uh, christians from changanashiri area to that region there was uh, for uh, one family two family like that okay in order to buy rubber plantations etc ah. then there were some who went for work and so on like not a big migration oh, okay. no not see. like the malabar no migration. nothing nothing ah, okay. nothing okay. so who are the christians there the christians there are those as i said from 1958 onwards uh, who embraced catholic faith uh, according to the tradition of the suramalwar church oh okay we have about uh, more than 30000 people 30000 30000 oh. in that diocese is called uh, takali oh. oh okay okay they are tamilians the celebrations are now in tamil what kind of music do they a uh, music they take carnatic i think we have to uh, get this kind of sriya uh, orientation to our there was father mathi valanikel who yes. is trying to for a yes. chant aha uh-huh. for our mass chant uh-huh. according to the sriya uh, tune okay. he says that for the latin mass there is a gregorian chant yes. at the basis of the prayers yes, yes. we should have sriya at your own service of the chant absolutely and the hymns should be as you said uh, should be perfectly uh, with that uh, uh, tune or the sriyak language yeah. but how can we blend all these things is a uh, thing that has to be worked out that is what i would like mm. to say that mm. Mm. when your eminence was growing up in the seminary was there a time when priests conversed in the sri lankan language uh, the professors or no conversed no i will say I will not say because there were occasions in which we are encouraged to uh, to wish one another for example nastambaga mari swami sikha uh, or to say certain prayers in avund vasme yanas kandas mathe samal ko san certain uh, hymns were of to our blessed mother etc were taught in uh, yeah only that like vedadiya uh, uma ah yeah yeah even to speak english was re- resisted by the seminarians so, so how we can <laughs> we propose to speak them in a sriya so it was impossible very nice in retrospect 
It is amazing. The Orthodox and the Jacobite churches went through the vernacularization almost at the same time in the 1950s. But they were smarter. They retained certain, for example, the minor doxology, Shuhala, Vavala, Luruhala, Kudisha, and Nasal Islam, Amen, Barak, Mor, certain expressions in Syriac, so yeah. that people could feel the connection with the history. Yeah. Unfortunately, we did not do that. We didn't do that. That is a, a fault I would like to say. It happens. But I think slowly we can regain if everybody has a will. Yes. Um, the Senate has to have the will first of all and then the Senate is having it. Okay. So that is why we are celebrating Syriac Mass at least once during the Synodal time and so. And there are celebrations of Syriac Mass in uh, big celebrations of uh, feasts in uh, Ramapuram, in uh, Bharananganam, sometimes uh, we have a father, uh, Shangurikil. Yes, here. Uh, we did an interview, extensive yeah. interview with him. I see. Yes. He likes very much. Yes. He asked me to, as you requested, uh, to tell the priest to celebrate now and then this week mass. He asked me. He is the one who is invited for the yes, yes. during uh, the funeral service. <laughs> yes, yes. He did sing quite a few chants, mm -hmm. melodies. Yeah. He also knew Latin. I see. He was at Pune. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a golden treasure from him. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. a pleasant surprise. Just a little far away from here at Kadavantara, mm -hmm. uh, behind Panambali Nagar, mm -hmm. there is a St. Joseph's Church. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday the catechism children sing their Lagomara and Kandi Is it and, so? Yes. Uh, it was started during Father Thomas Perimaya. Ah, he is a good son. Yes, yes. And the present priest allows it to continue. Yes. Joseph Cory Carlin. Yeah, I know him. Yes. We have a YouTube uh, version of that. They sing it so beautifully. And one thing I noticed, even in the United States, if we tell them the meaning of certain words, mm. then they can get an idea and enjoy the song. There are some places, when I go for solemn high mass, I insist on the Shalah and uh, mm -hmm. So we sing it, in, I train them and we sing it in Syriac. In our query, huh? we do it. Oh, okay. Our solemn occasions. Oh, okay. Nagumara, uh, uh, these are the two things which we, yes. we sing. Those are beautiful melodies and very few words. Yeah. So people can, uh, even children have especially mm. can understand mm. the meaning and they can enjoy that. I they think do. even Bhuktanavan and Thesbhavata also should be introduced. Yes. And then, Shuhalaba, Kulauravala, Ruhada Kudisha. That is a beautiful melody. Beautiful melody. And probably those melodies were composed in Kerala. Although it was in Syriac, I see. these melodies were, and it is musically very unique. Mm. It is neither Carnatic nor Middle Eastern. It elevates our heart. Yes, mm. very festive, mm. beautiful melodies. All right, yes. And I hope, so one of the attempts that we are doing is to recover these melodies and put it on, and we make it available for an international audience. I will request you one thing. Please. You propose 
certain pieces like Bhutana one that's both as I said now, Lagumara, Kandisha uh, Alaha, and then this uh, Shukhalaba, or some other text words end also, could as pieces which could be introduced during yes. the celebration either in Malayalam or in English. Yes. And that I can propagate as Father Perimayan did it in a St. Yes. Jesus Church. Yes. And then it will become a tradition. Yes. I shall give the CDs and I so you study at least this, mm, mm. And not the whole mass. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you are also saying create a, a recording, a recording which can be distributed. Distributed. Okay. Only these pieces. Yes. Then we, uh, that will get integrated. I myself will con uh, continue to sing that oh, for all the masses. Or, uh, yeah. Because it will be great if we can reintroduce Pugdhanagavan. Did your eminence sing anywhere else? No, 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 Pugdhanagavan, no. <laughs> afterwards, no. It was because of your, your enthusiasm I could do it. Yes. And your training. And even without much training, I came to train you, but you had already the... And we sang... Oh, no. Your eminence sang it well. That's not true, because I had not sung very much Pugdhanagavan. Ah. I had sung a, a little other pieces. Ah, ah. And there is no substitute for that. The celebrant asking oh, yeah. permission from mm -hmm. the people. Mm -hmm. And we have this Anapasatya is like an, sorry to say, like an mm -hmm. aberration because we put the horse behind the cart. Mm -hmm. We have, we, we should be starting with Nativity Hymn mm -hmm. and then slowly go to Pasaha Remembrance. But now we remember Pasaha in the beginning of the Mass. There can be one just. I also thought like you, one justification or one kind of explanation is that that uh, Pugtana Hon is referring to the whole mystery of Christ. Yes. As a whole. Yes. So we need not uh, think about that kind of a rectilinear uh, progress in the mm. celebration and we should put something only of the beginning at there. There we say, let us celebrate the whole mystery of Christ according to the commandment. Yes. So there can be a little explanation like that also. Oh, okay. uh, I give that to the people. Okay. But it was invented, uh, you know, during the time of this restoration in 1968. Yes, yes. D yeah. It appeared first in 1968 yes. text, I think. Yes. And Father Varagis Pati says, Pugdhanavan is something that we created here. Possible. Yeah. Possible. The Chaldean uh, Church. In Syria, people will be satisfied with Pugdhanavan. Yeah. There is no need of Hanapasara. Yes. Uh, what I suggested, please keep it in mind, that means you give a few pieces, not very many, okay. in Syriac, so that we can sing it uh, in a solemn celebrations. Okay. The choirs can be trained for that, yes. and we will do it. Wow. <laughs> no, it's a good idea. That is a great what idea. It, what, oh, okay. That is a great idea. So I got more than I expected now. <laughs> Thank you, Father Balagi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And please bless and pray for the success Surely. of the Aramaic project. Mm. And uh, you had a very hectic day and oh, service no. you gave this time. This is uh, one of my mission. I mean, uh, part of my mission. It is not you are taking my time. Not just, yeah. This time will be, in my opinion, very fruitful for the church. The time which you spent with me and I also give to you. Uh, it will be good for the church in future. Uh, we do not know, there may be people who are led by this way of celebrating the Mass to God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When uh, Bishop Kalarangat uh, celebrates uh, the Sriyak Mass, there are very many people who go for that. Yes, yes. So, this is a service which we do for the church and uh, it is our duty. I take it only in Thank that. you, Your Eminence. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Father. I am Father. so Thank grateful. God. Please bless Let me. us be united in prayers. Thank you. God bless you. Yes. And also this uh, mission, this attempt. Thank you.